Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. In my previous video, I have just discussed how we can create a table using Java API. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss that how we can insert data to the same table. So this is the table which we have created in the last video, uh, my table. So in this my table, we're gonna insert a data put uh, using put, but using Java API. So in this case, uh, guys, uh, these are the simple, uh, we all know that these are simple basic little command of Apache HBase, how we can insert data uh, using put. So put space table name, space row key, space column family, then colon, then column, then its value, UBD. So in the same way, uh, table name, uh, row, I, uh, row key or row ID, then we have a column family, column and value. So what we're gonna do, we just replicate these three statements via Java code, right? How we can insert the same, but using Java API. So it's just four step process. All right, so what's the four process, four steps? First is we have to specify the row ID, column and value. And for this, I'm gonna use put class. Like in a previous video I've discussed now, like uh, we have multiple classes available like H table descriptor, right? And same way we are having the dedicated classes available for inserting data as well. So we're gonna use put class for this. Then we're gonna uh, connect to the HBase in a second step using connection class. And then we're going to uh, get a table object to represent our table, which we already have created in the previous uh, like occasion, which is my table. So uh, here we have put a comment that connection object can provide an instance of H table. So using this, we're gonna uh, get a table object to represent. And last, we're gonna insert the row. So to uh, just to jump to that implementation part, we're gonna just list some of the basics that we must know, uh, which is which are the prerequisites for this uh, practical. First, we must know that uh, put class is used to specify the data which will be inserted or updated. Put is used to insert or update a specific row ID. So in this case, we're gonna just insert single row. Okay, for multiple rows, we have a separate uh, separate concept available that I'll not be covering it here. So here put is used to insert uh, or update a specific row ID. It means against only one we're gonna insert. All data that is passed to the H base must be in the form of byte arrays. So this is a very important thing. While specifying uh, the data that you're gonna insert, it should be of the type or the form byte arrays. So here we are having a concept of serialize and deserialize, like converting the Java object to the, like uh, uh, into uh, some, some uh, maybe uh, some, type and then we have a deserialize, like getting a Java object back. So in this case, the row ID, column family names, column names, values, all must be in the form of byte arrays. So we're gonna use one uh, uh, class called byte, uh, which is a helper class, which is given by, uh, which has been provided by HBase to convert the Java primitive to the byte arrays. So here we have a concept of serialization. So use add column to specify the column family, column and value at last, we must know that in shell one can insert one cell with one put. So I've already told you it's not a, a like a multiple puts. So it will be we have a single put means we can insert only single row here. All right. So these are the basics that we must know in order to complete this little practical. So let's now uh, look just have a look at the code we're gonna use for this. Again, this is a very short little code. And in this case, uh, we are having uh, this some uh, couple of uh, libraries which we have to import like again hbase configuration configuration and all right then we have this uh, the same boilerplate available for connection as well as for configuration which i already have specified in a previous video as well so i've already have said in the previous video that these two lines you'll find in every java program of apache hbase afterwards we are having this this table right here uh, we gonna i've already have uh, specified now like we have to uh, get a table object to represent our table. So we're gonna use that here. Okay, table. So uh, we, here we just want a reference to our table, my table. And here we're gonna use that put class, right, to insert a data uh, against this row, uh, row key one. And I've already have specified that what is byte here. So uh, the byte is nothing but a helper class, right? So which is provided by HBase to convert Java primitive to byte arrays. And that's why you can see it here everywhere. We are just using this two bytes. It means we are converting to the this uh, byte array. And using add column, add column I've specified here as well. So add column is used to specify the column family, column and value. So column family is call fam one. Column is channel. Let's suppose for the first 
then we have a value ubd so same we are having here so the column family column and this value and the same we are repeating right so we're gonna just uh, do that afterwards we're gonna just insert data using put so this is the simple basic little program that we're gonna just implement in eclipse again so what we i'll be doing uh, so that to save the time i will be just overwriting the same code right so that we don't have to insert uh, sorry uh, like we have to insert those, those external jars again right so what we're gonna do we just copy and paste this stuff all right this copy and paste it in the same uh, same file so that we can just save our time of in this external thing right external jars so here we can just go with create table again so so that uh, the error can be removed all right so rest everything is okay we have saved the file everything is done so let's see if we can uh, able to run this all right so let's see so i'm gonna just press this this button run okay and let's see what happens so we have just run this from our uh, from this eclipse uh, this ide let's see uh, under our uh, this uh, shell whether we have got this or not so we can scan this thing my table all right so you can see it here guys like we have a channel ubd creator ap country india it means it has been inserted successfully right so this this sums up the uh, or this marks the end of this video i hope you must have understood how we can insert data using java api so uh, i'll be just uh, uh, see you again guys in next video thanks for watching thank you